What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's Mulsi here and we have the 17th, yes, the 17th episode of What to Wear Wednesdays. <laughs> That it's already the 17th episode like I don't know I feel like I just started the series like last week but I can't even believe that's already been 17 weeks like it actually blows my mind but if you're new here welcome to my channel I'm Melissa nice to meet you thank you so much for joining us today and if you're new don't forget to click that little red subscribe button before you leave so you can be notified for all of the what to wear Wednesdays also if you're new here and you're like what the heck's this girl about to talk about today's is a segment where I post every single Wednesday answering your fashion dilemmas so go ahead Ahead right now pause the video and comment down below a fashion dilemma that you have struggled with or currently struggling with and you may be featured in next week's video but yeah also follow me on Instagram it is at threads obsessed follow my Depop because a lot of this stuff that you see styled actually a couple of the pieces styled will you will see up on my Depop and it is Melissa 8 also add me on snapchat it's Melissa Taddy but yeah without further ado let's get right into the video starting off with question number one Ella Moog asked I just thrifted a bomb bralette and want to wear it as a top but I don't want it to look like I just threw on a bra and forgot a shirt okay, so I actually started off with this bralette right here and it looks so lingerie that it looks like you have a bra over or you're wearing just a bra you know what I mean but this one it's more dainty it's a little bit cuter it's a little bit more full coverage so it looks more like a bralette if that makes any sense at all so when you're styling your bralette I wouldn't necessarily go for one that's super lingerie lacy more something a little bit more like cute and girly because you are wearing a very risque kind of piece and you don't want people looking at you like did this girl just roll out of bed so the way I styled this is I you can obviously do it your own way and just style it with a basic white tee or even a basic t-shirt of any color but I personally really loved the way this turned out and I just paired this incredible bright colored turtleneck which another question I had on my what to wear Wednesday was how to style a bright colored turtleneck so if you were the one that asked that question this is another way you could style your bright color turtleneck but yeah so I basically started with this bright red color turtleneck it kind of has more of a cowl neck but I kind of like the way it turned out and then I put the black bralette over top of it and I thought this looked so good together the bralette is a perfect over-the-top bralette and then I just paired a basic pair of jean shorts you can pair any shorts with this kind of a look I feel even a pair of gingham shorts anything like that actually when you're just wearing some basic colors well I guess red's not that basic this is definitely a more extra way to wear it then I spiced up the outfit with my flip belt I love this belt so much I actually thrifted it years ago which is insane because who would have known that I am so obsessed with flames and now and I actually get a lot more wear out of it now and then I just paired my checkered vans with it and obviously had to throw on a pair of sunglasses and a hat just to complete the look okay moving on to question number two Morgan O'Grady asked how to style bright red pants you know I picked them up for Canada Day and now I only wear them with a plain tee I'm trying to not look like an emo kid from the 2000s thanks you rock thank you and hello to my fellow Canadian obviously had to answer your question but honestly I have so many pairs of red pants I couldn't even decide which ones to style for you guys for this question but recently as you if you saw my recent thrift haul you would have seen that I picked up a pair of leather red pants and I thought this was the perfect chance to style them this outfit screams 2000s and screams 1990s but I don't necessarily think it screams the emo part of what you are referring to which honestly the 2000s are in the 1990s styles in so if you're into that you would definitely dig this look but I I paired it with a halter top with all this beautiful halter top with black and white stripes on it I've always been a fan of stripes I think they are flattering on just about anyone I mean vertical stripes are very flattering on a lot of people sometimes horizontal stripes not so much they can make you look a little bit bigger I mean definitely you could also wear a vertical striped or any tank top or any top with this look pretty much I thought the pattern kind of was cute with the red pants and these pants are massive on me so I may actually end up selling them on my Depop if it doesn't work out so well for now I've just been pairing my grom belt with it and I kind of like the look of it and then I tried to wear like a pair of sneakers or closed toed shoes with these pants and it just looked terrible so I ended up going with a pair of flat form heels I love these heels they are my go-to flat form sandals like I absolutely love them they're black so they go with just about anything and then I wore this like scarf on my head and I absolutely loved the way it looked I feel like something's missing if I don't wear something on my head like you'll even see in the last look I did my hair differently and then I just finished off the look with a vinyl black bag this bag is like my go-to bag for just about any look and then a pair of hoop earrings and a choker some just 
basic jewelry that kind of bumped up the look a little bit more. Okay, moving on to the third question. Allison K asked, hello, I have a black and gray pair of plaid pants. I don't know how to make them look like they belong. Any ideas for styling? So I don't have a pair of black and gray plaid pants, but I do have, however, have a pair of like baby blue brown plaid pants, which I'm obsessed with. I actually just recently thrifted these and I think they are the best pants ever. They make my butt look so good. They fit me so well. So I actually paired it with a burnt orange shirt. I didn't think it would look so good, but I am obsessed with this look. I think this might be my favorite look for this week, which is a little bit strange. It's not a yellow look or a red look. And then I added a pair of loafers, and these loafers have been in my closet forever. I remember styling these in one of my very first lookbooks, and I love these shoes. I can never get rid of them, especially now with the whole Gucci loafer trend going on. But they are so gorgeous, and they go so well with this outfit. I'm totally living for this outfit. And then I also put a beret with it. You guys, I have an issue with hats right now. I'm just obsessed with hats. Yeah, that's basically how I styled these plaid pants. I hope that helped you out a little bit. I just think this look is bomb. Moving on to the last question. Potato Tomato asks, how to wear bong clothes to school without being dress coded? Please and thank you. I start school in a few weeks and I wanna be that fashion it girl at school. Sadly, I always had to wear uniforms going to school, so I never Never got to be that fashion it girl or any it girl because honestly we wore uniforms and it was pretty ugh. I would honestly wear this outfit to university or to high school depending on your dress code like I'm not sure if you're allowed to wear jeans or if you're not you don't necessarily have to dress extremely extra to be that fashion it girl if I'm being completely honest it's whoever can pull themselves together most at 8 o'clock in the morning is going to be that fashion it girl how I styled this look which I'm living for this look also I thought it was so cute is I just wore a basic pair of jeans and I'm I'm not gonna call these basic because these are my favorite jeans that I've ever thrifted and I thrifted them last week and they fit me so well they're such a good material they're actually DKNY so a pretty good brand they're nice and high-waisted I love the fit of them they're a thicker material so they're not super like clingy to my body and then I wore this beautiful yellow top I feel like this is a piece that you'll be able to wear to school I'm not sure about the open back but any yellow t-shirt basically I just really like the fit of it and the color of it so I thought it would look really cute and the way to kind of dress up an outfit when you're going to school is accessories so a cute pair of shoes a cute haired style a, which isn't really an accessory but honestly you can't wear I don't think you can wear a hat to school I, I remember that being in my dress code so a cute hairstyle some rings some dainty jewelry like some necklaces and it makes you look a lot more effortless like that fashion girl that you want to be and just accessorizing you have a cute backpack just kind of up your game with everything that you wear so the jeans make sure you had a nice ass pair of high-waisted jeans the top don't make it super basic have it a, a little bit like a little bit of flair like the way this has like a cute little back to it and then the shoes don't just wear a basic pair of running shoes wear something with flames on it like these or stars or stripes or any don't just wear a basic pair of adidas oh so, yeah that's basically how I styled a back to school look I'm thinking about doing a back to school uh, lookbook in a week or so let me know what you guys think about that but, yeah that concludes this episode of what to wear Wednesday I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up thank you so much for being here and watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!